Hi everyone, this is Mara. I'll be covering for Seeker. Um, the topic was sex on snails, elephants, and the eagle. It was given by Sparks. Um, I'll start with the elephant. I didn't find uh, too much information, so if you really want to explore that, you know what to do. Uh, when a male elephant reaches the age of 20, he starts to come into a phase known as musta, which per prepares him for the intense competition for females and mating rights. Musta is a Hindi word meaning intoxicated. When a male elephant comes into musta, or intoxication, his level of testosterone will rise dramatically by a factor of 20 or more. It is that physically and mentally an uncomfortable time for the male elephant, and typically they will display aggressive behavior. Musta might last up to 60 days as they wander looking for females in estrus, which is the, ver the girl version of intoxication. During this time, the bull, which I assume is the male elephant, will dramatically reduce his food intake and burn up much of his fat reserves. The temporal gland between the eyes and ears swell and discharge a viscous aromatic secretion. Along with the dribbling of urine that contains soluble pheromones, it signals other elephants of his state. Interesting, African elephants experience a less pronounced form of musta and at an older age than their Asian cousins. That's all I have for you on the elephant. That was for Indian elephant, okay? Um, I don't have much version or much information on the eagles, but there's two things that um that are uh talked about that yes either one they are or they mate in the air while locked or it's simply when they're locked in the air it is a mating dance and uh, they actually have sex on a branch or on the ground, but a branch near the nest. And then we have snails. Snails are can have sex with themselves or another snails. When they can't find a partner, they reproduce via parathenogenesis. This is not exactly the same thing as asexuality. Asexuality is absence of sexuality. Snails certainly possess sexuality. Um, because snails are hermaphroditic, they can fertilize and pregnant themselves or other snails. By reproducing via parathenogenesis, they essentially make clones of themselves. Snails more often than not reproduce via parathenogenesis but occasionally find partners and reproduce sexually with other snails. During the mating ritual between two snails, they stab each other with dagger-like projections before mating. Sometimes one or both snails may be injured, or sometimes one may die. No scientist knows why snails do this, but they speculate that it may be a sort of turn-on or a type of simulation. The snails then find a high place to mate. Once they found a high place, they secrete a string of highly viscous mucus that they both dangle from while mating. Once the mating process is finished, the two dangling snails drop to the ground and go their separate ways. Some snails are not hermaphrodoic, though. They are separately male and female. Each species has its own reproductive habits. Um... And that is all I have on snails. Um, for the next challenge, it would um, go to, oh, I'm drawing blanks, um, Sandy. And she'll be singing Rue's lullaby. And the added part of that will be in the doobly-doo down below. And the words that I cannot say perfectly will also be down there. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.